Welcome to the Journey of Love and Light. Libra, this is your May career and money reading. This is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone. If it resonates with you, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Never give your power to a reader as you have free will and can always change the direction of your path. Um, the goal of this reading is to give you um, messages from the most purest white light to help you on your journey of love and light. Uh, Spirit, show me clearly what messages does Libra need to see as you in they enter the month of May related to their money. What's Libra's money, May money reading? Spirit, show me clearly what is Libra's May money reading? May's money reading for Libra. Spirit, show me clearly what cards, what messages do you have for May for Libra? All right, so I think that we've got our cards out. Let's get started. Just an initial glance at these cards, they're looking they're looking pretty good for you, Libra, for the month of May. So, Spirit, show me clearly what stories, what messages Libra needs to see as it relates to the money and the month of May. First card out is the Ace of Swords. The Swords energy is Libra energy, um, and this indicates a, a new start, a new idea. Temperance card um, is about um, patience and balance. The Seven of Cups is about choices and options. The um, six, or is that the the five of swords, and the four of swords? Actually, four of swords is about rest and uh, recuperation. The sun card. This wanted to come out in the pre shuffle as well, so there's definitely something good about the sun happening there. The ace of cups happening for you, my dear Libra. Um, the seven of swords. This also came out in your fellow Gemini's reading, um, and the three of cups. So. Um, Really good energy here. Spirit's asking me to hold two cards back for you, um, Libra, to um, bring in at the end. So, starting out with this reading for the month of May for your money, uh, my dear Libra, I'm looking at there's a, potentially a new option, a new um, idea, a new choice that you're coming into the month of May with that may um, be something that you're considering to uh, find a way to uh, create a new income stream. Um, and maybe it's been taking a long time for it to happen. Um, and that's because that you've had lots of choices, a lot, a lot of potential options for, you know, creating this additional wealth that may be uh, related to, um, you know, jobs or a, a side hustle of some sort or, you know, just some sort of a, a business opportunity that you have. But, you know, whatever you've been going through really is requiring that maybe in the month of May that you're going to need to take some time to yourself, you know, make sure that you're, you know, giving yourself self-care, that you're getting enough rest, that you're, you know, eating right, uh, and that you're ensuring that, you know, you're going to be ready when this new cycle comes that really is going to be super busy, super um, almost frenetic, and, you know, but it's really going to be helping you stack up your coins. This, the sun card is the happiest card in the deck. So basically all your emotional, physical, financial needs are met and in, in when you receive the energy of the sun and the ace of cups further kind of confirms that saying that you know it's really a fresh new emotional start for you so whatever the financial you know you know obviously finances always have something to do with our ability to be happy if we're you know struggling financially it's hard for us to be happy this is saying that you are no longer going to be struggling financially in the month of may my dear libras because there's going to be the sense of happiness and fulfillment and that's because you're leaving behind a situation that is no longer serving you. Either um, the people, places, things, or what have you. There's something in the past that you had to really cut. A, you're going to have to cut away at the month of at the beginning of the month of May. You know, get it out of the way so that it leaves you in a, a situation where you're feeling, um, you know, the need to celebrate. That there is reasons to celebrate. That you know, your the choices that you've made, the the uh, moves that you've made, the the coins that you've stacked up have now given you this sense of you know uh, emotional fulfillment that you're seeking so the eight of swords says that you know whatever you have been imagining you know whatever uh, things that have had you caught up in your head you know the mental anguish that you've created for yourself because uh, air signs you know terrible about it we are I'm an air sign as well and we get up in our head and we you know get uh, get worried about things and think things can't come uh, true for us but that's probably related to this you know uh, sticky situation that you've had in the past but you know see here that you have like you know this is just loosely tied and you have all these 
swords around you. You have all this truth around you that you can just take this sword and cut away the blinders and cut away the the um, uh, hand tie and really move forward in your life. And the um, uh, Queen of Wands here tells me that Libra, by the month of end of May, you're going to really be feeling, you know, full of passion, full of energy, full of excitement about whatever this new financial opportunity um, is producing for you. Um, and Spirit has asked me to pull a card from the Millionaire's Mindset card because um, truly our wealth and our uh, being able to uh, attract wealth is all about our mindset. Uh, so let's see what the advice is for you, Libra, uh, for the month of May to get you in the right um, money mindset to really attract all this wealth that brings you this sense of you know emotional fulfillment and allows you to leave behind situations that are no longer um, serving you. So um, the the card out here is um, stretch your comfort zone. And so so maybe you've been in a situation like it's hard for you, like it's easier to stay where you are even if it's unfulfilling than it is to like you know stretch to that next place. But spirit is saying um, that you know this is what you know, how people with a wealth mindset think, and it's like they stretch beyond. It says your comfort zone is in direct proportion to your money zone. Be willing to do what's uncomfortable. It's the only time you're growing. So don't stay in a place of comfort, um, dear Libra. You know, make sure that you're stretching yourself because it is in stretching yourself that you're going to find these new opportunities and this new reason for passion in your financial situation. And um, with that stretch, with that growth, um, you know, it's also going to grow your coins. So I hope that this was useful on your journey of love and light. Um, if it was, please smash that like button on your way out and follow and subscribe um, to my uh, channel. It helps me uh, reach other uh, people that may be in need of these readings. So I wish you nothing but the best on your journey of love and light. Peace and blessings.